March. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright you guys, so it is January 14th, or March 14th, 2024, and this is actually something that I'm recording after I already made this previous video, so I'm adding this to the video at, at the start, but this is just to give you guys a sense of what is going on up here. It is railing right now, this is just amazing, and we're going to just go through the village real quickly and then you'll get to see the rest of the video. But yeah, it's just awesome. It's really, really, really coming down. The snow is blowing. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. City, we hit the back roads getting to Moon Ridge. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this video because I'm sure enjoying making it. I'll tell you that. I wish they'd have these tree lights on. Geez, there's a lot of snow coming down. Why wouldn't they have the lights on? Well, anyway, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I love you guys. Peace out. Peace out. Holy smokes. What is going on, everybody? It's March 14, 2024, and we are getting some really good snow right now. This is amazing. Amazing. I'm loving it. Uh-oh, I don't know if I can stop on time. I don't think I can, but we didn't go through the red, so we're good. Look at this snow, guys. I mean, just a couple days ago, guys, in the last video I made, or two videos ago, I, I put a, a new promo in that was talking about like uh, how we're not expecting any snow for probably till springtime. And, and then the next day, this came out of nowhere. And then it happened three days later than that. So yeah quite crazy but it is what it is I'm doing my best I'm doing my best I gotta get my windshield defrosted because it's freezing it's 29 degrees out here oh this is great we're on Stanfield cutoff now it is blowing snow driving around with this type of snow guys is just awesome here's the lake I know you can't see much, but this type of snow, I could do one of those like horror videos, like those scary stories, like Mr. Nightmare or Let's Read and stuff like that. Cool stuff. Yeah, this is amazing. Amazing. North Shore. We're going to drive a little bit into Big Bear City because we are we're getting freaking hit really good right now, guys. This is this is so insane. Turn on the bright so you can really see how much it's snowing. Every time it's snowing this hard and I have the brights on, it feels like we're in Star Trek or Star Wars going light speed. I hope you guys get my reference. But hey, hey, it's for horses, I know, but hey, hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Hope you guys are enjoying the promos. Remember, if, if you do want to support little old me and this channel, please, please go to bigbearweatherandmore.com and support us by purchasing some merchandise and wearing it with pride. That would make me happy. I've already seen a few people up here 
wearing Big Bear Weather and more stuff and I sneak up on them and it's just the coolest reaction. I wish I would think about like breaking the camera out for those situations, but I never think about it. I just see it and I'm like, no way. They're actually wearing our merchandise, no way. And I'm not trying to brag, but they get really excited when I come up on them like that. Like it's, it's I can't believe it. I can't believe it, my friend. And then of course, guys, I gotta throw you that one other plug right now, which is get boards for your ski and snowboard rentals. That's where you guys want to go. I'm telling you right now, um, I've had amazing reviews from every one of you who has gone. There's been a ton of you who have gone there already. Um, they have the most fair, fair prices. And if you mention me, you'll probably save more and you'll get your skis and snowboards waxed for free if you bring in your own equipment, if you mention me. I'm pulling some clout up here now. Yeah, guys, I've heard for many years about Get Boards. I've known a, a few really cool people who worked at Get Boards also. And uh, I'm just very, 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 very fortunate that they were receptive to me wanting to represent them. Because, as you guys know, I don't, I don't get paid for this stuff. I don't get paid to say, hey, go shop here. Not at all. I do it because I want you guys to have the best experience up here. And this is what I've come up with so far. These guys are good at what they do. They really love, they love you guys. They love the tourists. So again, that's why I am doing my best to support them. And last but not least, I know the last one was supposed to be last but not least, but the uh, Big Bear Smoke and Babe Smoke Shops, they have a shop in Big Bear City and in Big Bear Lake, both of them on Big Bear Boulevard as well. All their information's in the description of the videos. And uh, the owner is just an amazing man. They, it's not just smoke and vape stuff. So please, if if you have a chance, go in there, do a little, do a little bit of shopping, and support a really great local business owner. His name is Sahil. I have never seen these Domino's drivers drive this slow, and I'm actually proud of this guy. Our Domino's drivers drive like Mario Andretti but they're really good in these conditions. This Domino's up here, I think is like the second busiest Domino's in the whole country. Because during these snowstorms, no one, no one wants to go out, which has given me an idea. I love being out here in the worst of the worst. If I got some sort of a delivery service going, I could make some bank. So if any of you have any ideas, let me know. Or anyone wants to f go in on something, let me know. I'm all about working my butt off and making money. I, I have a wife to support and kids and grandkids now to eventually be the best grandpa I can be. But yeah, we're on North Shore right now, guys, and as you can see, the snow is pretty darn steady out here. I'm loving it. You know what? We're going to cut through here real, real quickly, actually. And then now my phone is ringing, so give me a moment. I gotta take this, this phone call. Hang on. Wow, the streets are already turning white all the way over here, guys. When it's like that, that's a great, great sign. Yeah! All right, hang tight, guys. Sorry about that, guys. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Hang on. Yeah, this is something, you guys. This is definitely something. So we're gonna take the back way into Moon Ridge. There's gonna be probably a lot more snow over there. I'm looking forward to that. There always is. We're at the airport right now. I wish I was at a real airport. Your boy Nick needs a vacation.
quite some time. Over the past four years, I've been, I've been able to go see my dad three different times in Florida for three days at a time because I had someone helping me with my job, which was crucial, you know? However, that person moved off the mountain and I can't trust anyone to help me out. I trust you guys a lot more. Come up here and hang out and I can give you the job description and, and pay you on the hour every hour for helping me out. But I really need to go see my 92 year old father again. And you know, it's, it's a small town. We need to take all the work we can take or else you don't pay your bills. And YouTube doesn't, doesn't really help guys. Like uh, I just love doing these. Maybe someday, five years, 10 years from now, I'll be able to, you know, at least pay my basic bills and stuff. But yeah, it's, 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 <clears throat> for those of you trying to start a YouTube channel, don't do it for the money. I think that's why I feel like I'm successful at it is because I do it because I love it and I love you guys. So we're going to cross Big Bear Boulevard and take the back way into Moon Ridge as I told you guys. This is usually the route I take when there's a lot of traffic. Clearly there's not any traffic. But we want to be getting closer to the snowiest part of town sooner than later. I hope it's absolutely dumping over there. Okay. We're on aeroplane now. And we're going to take this to Sawmill. And then take a left on Sawmill. And just stay on that as it wraps around the block. And it turns into Sugarloaf eventually. And that's what we want to do. Guys, looking through, th through the camera, I swear it looks like I'm driving so fast. But I promise you guys, I am not. I'm driving 20 miles an hour. 19 miles an hour. Here's Sawmill. sketchy because you can't see when you're coming over that other side and don't don't be shocked when I tell you people drive like maniacs through here and, and this is a neighborhood you guys so you don't want to drive like a maniac through here I, I always try to remind you guys I show you guys these back roads because you guys have been so loving for so many years and I feel like I can trust you guys that you're not gonna speed through these neighborhoods because there are kids. And when it snows, what do kids like to do? Go outside and play, right? So you just wanna be extra cautious driving through these, these neighborhoods. And I've also mentioned that, unfortunately, a handful of locals really don't like me because I do show you guys how to save time and save, save money even. I'm sure the saving money part doesn't irk them as much as me trying to show you guys all these back routes but I mean come on you guys don't get much much time away from work to come spend up here and the traffic can be an absolute nightmare out of our 
our sight up there so I can turn the brights back on. Again, this is kind of rare for the snowstorms we've had most of this season. The temperatures have been hovering right around and just above freezing. So this is just another really great sign for this storm. I'm absolutely loving it. Because as you all know, the colder the storm is, the more moisture it squeezes out of the, out of what moisture we have up in the atmosphere. All right, this is Division Road. And we're gonna take this into Moon Ridge. I think we might, even though it's probably not a smart move, I think we might do an upper Moon Ridge cruise just to see how much snow is on the ground up there right now. Let's keep our fingers crossed for a foot of snow, you guys. Let's make that happen. If we all cross our fingers and keep positive thoughts, we might make it happen. I'm gonna be a little more conservative. Even though I only said four inches, maybe three or four inches at the start, right before the snow started coming down, they changed the complete forecast to, to more than double that, almost three times what they originally expected. So it's about time we get a little bit of love and I hope by me talking about it did not jinx the situation. But I'm gonna conservatively say eight inches of snow. And, I, I, and actually I think that's a pretty uh, not conservative number when it comes to the snowfall, so we'll see. I hope some Subaru dealerships watching because it seems like my talks have kind of gone stale with DHS or DCH Riverside Subaru they they really wanted to collaborate because I think driving this Subaru without chains 
in these conditions all the time and just kicking butt and taking names would be a really great representation for Subaru. And any Subaru dealer out there who, you know, puts a little thought into it, I think a lot of regular people out there would be stoked to see them helping out the average Joe by helping me supplement my my new car payment. Um, and then I market for them. Again, the marketing won't, <laughs> won't get much better for Subaru than what I'm doing. I, th I think we can all agree on that. How I never really have any problems. I go through really rough, snowy, icy conditions. still 28 I'll bet it drops down to 27 in just a moment here in just a moment just a moment zoom in for a little bit that looked pretty cool didn't it in my new Subaru when I turn my steering wheel the lights turn with it I can tell that this one doesn't do that but again anybody have any Subaru connections I could really use the help that was a big mistake I, I mean don't get me wrong I it's the nicest Subaru basically that Subaru makes I love it but I was desperate. This car, I had crashed it. My first accident in my whole life. Not even in the winter time, it was summertime. And I needed a vehicle because the snow season was coming up. And I'm very OCD about this channel, guys. So I desperately needed something. And the salesman was so amazing. I didn't like him because uh, he got me into the super expensive one, but. That's why he was amazing. I used to sell cars and I didn't think that I'd fall into the trap. And my goodness, I sure did. If I can get some supplementation for my car every month, maybe four, 500 bucks, or the whole 850 a month, I will market whoever helps me out. I, I will talk about your business every single video. I will post the information on the channel permanently in the upload defaults. I'm not asking for something for nothing because I know for a fact the marketing on this channel that I'm able to do has helped a lot of businesses up here bring in a ton of business. And I never even imagined that I'd have that, that type of a reach, but I always look out for you guys. I never steer you guys wrong. And I think that's why my suggestions um, are just, I don't know, taken very well. Received was the word, very well.
27 degrees now. them to reschedule because of the snow and they didn't respond so now I'm forced to go I'm probably gonna be doing another video like six or seven in the morning it's gonna be rough and since I'm so scared I, I hate the dentist I, I always have them put me on on nitrous it's a little bit extra cost but it just keeps me calm so I'm not tripping out guys think it's really pretty right You guys remember like we didn't get much snow up to Christmas time everything came in like February and pretty much most of our storms came in February I'm sure I recorded a few in January also but I just can't remember much of it it's obviously on video because I don't miss storms but. Street. We were just on Villa Grove and it turned into what we're on now, La Crescenta. And now we're going to turn left on Wolf and get a little bit higher up in elevation and then we'll start going back down.
If anywhere gets a foot of snow, it's definitely going to be up here. But yeah, guys, let's uh, wish me a little bit of luck heading down as we're about to start heading down this little steep part to get to the street we need to go to. And we just got to be chill. I'm going to throw it in first gear. And we're going to rock it like that. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. If the snow was a little deeper, believe it or not, let's say I saw some of these drier patches and then snow on, on one side, the common thought would probably to be driving on that drier patch. But in these colder conditions, they they can be more icy, so I would choose to drive on a fresh layer of snow. Or feel it out. Go here and then like move move over to this side if there's a bunch more snow and see how it feels. right turn and then the next left turn is the scariest part. Here's the right turn and here we go. We're going to kind of stay in the, in the very middle in case we lose a little bit of control. We'll have a little more room to try to come out of it. So far, so good. <laughs> like a glove. passing the Airbnb that we have on the channel for you guys. It's a really great place. We do some of the commercials there also, you guys. So you'll you'll know that you're in a house where some of these commercials that hopefully one day will become really well known were created. And this is called the Sheephorn Getaway. And it is a friend of ours on the channel. His name is Jay. It's his property, and he's done a few giveaways of this place for you guys. It's a nicer place in one of the best locations in the whole entire town. Really close to to Bear Mountain. Um, it's got it's it's got a hot tub right outside the master bedroom, you guys. And here it is. I wish he was booked tonight that's very rare to see it not booked but that's it upstairs this is where all the bedrooms and kitchen and living room and dining room everything is so you just saw the bottom half of the house because all the lights were still on downstairs all the living space is upstairs but again, it's right here on Sheephorn, which is, as I've told you guys, one of our most, if you, if you want to say famous, famous streets up here. They've got a lot of who's who type of properties on Sheephorn. And it's just a special. 
spectacular location. One of the snowiest areas in this entire town. All right, now we're back to Moon Ridge Road. Can we pull out pull out okay here? Yes we can. Yes we can! This is the golf course right here to the right. You can't really see much out there, can you? Moon Ridge Road for just a little tiny speck turns into Gold Mine, and Gold Mine is where you'll turn to go do your parking at Bear Mountain and the golf course. And this ski resort used to be called Gold Mine. There's Bear, folks. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that looks. Look at that. Oh yeah. That guy's grooming inside the half pipe right now. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. That is so cool. You guys, if you ever happen to meet one of the behind the scenes people up here, like the guys who make the snow beautiful for you all, the snow making folks who make it a much better experience up here for all of you. Please, please make sure you thank them profusely because they are what keep this engine going. They are the oil that this town's engine needs. All the people who do all the snow plowing, the snow, snow removal. I mean, guys, it's a big, big, big operation and my goodness it is an expensive operation so always when you have a chance give them a handshake and a big thank you I think for them just hearing that their trip was great because the ski conditions were good I promise you it's It'll make them feel really good. But yeah, those are the behind the scenes folks. Like on a cruise ship. All the people doing all the dishes, the laundry. Um, all the maintenance and stuff. You never see them. But they are so responsible for so much of your really good time. Unless you happen to be one of the few people on the poop cruise. You guys remember that? The poop cruise? Not a good look for cruise ships. But anyway, we're on Club View Road now. And the snow is still coming down steady, guys. It's not a heavy snow yet, but it's one of the more steady snows that we've had all season. Let me zoom in again here. Look at that there. Look at that there. Well, looky, looky. Descended in altitude. Well, 
that's going to be your update for right now. Of course, there'll be more, more later, but it started snowing a lot harder, and this is what I do. I want you guys to make sure that you got a good update here. So thanks again for everything. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for watching the video. I hope, uh, I hope you come up here. Enjoy yourselves, because uh, the, the season is ending very soon. It's in the blink of an eye. So try to get up here as soon as you can. And I just want to say once again, thank you guys for everything. Always super thankful for you guys in every way possible. You guys make me feel really, really good inside. And that's a huge, huge gift. And I appreciate it very much. And in the meantime, just have a great rest of your evening. We'll see you shortly for another video. I love you guys very much. It's March 14th, 2024. An absolutely beautiful, snowy, 